Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. This time to the Mythic Legion's Thistlehorn. And since I was challenged to do a bunch of photos by a friend, I said, why not do a video for him in case I get asked questions about where is this from? So here you are with one. Uh, real quick, we're just gonna go over it because the Mythic Legion's is all uh, kind of similar bodies, if not the same body, with minor alterations. So this one should be short and sweet too. So with this, we have a Woodland Goblin Thistlehorn, which is part of uh, Zalia's flock, if I, if I remember correctly. And a uh, nice little Woodland Goblin, Cute little guy too. Really like this uh, this cute face that he has. And he is an artifact keeper, which is pretty dope. So he likes preserving weapons and finding them and things like that. So he's sort of like a, a mythological archeologist for weapons, right? So then we have this great color of this, this bronze and green, which looks fantastic and I think works really well with this uh, brand new head sculpt, which is probably the most brand new thing because I, I haven't seen it on any other figure yet. And again, Super adorable. I don't know why, but you know. Anyway, let's go over the articulation very quickly. And I'm gonna remove the pauldrons, which is one of my favorite parts of these because they just look cool with and without the armor. So here's is a little bit uh, armorless. And as you can see here, I have the wrap going around, which is used to be stored in any kind of weapons. It can also be stored in the waist. Now we have our standard looking up, looking down, tilting left and right. And that is because the peg on this head allows it to do so. It's going to poke out a little forward. It doesn't point straight up. And it definitely gives you a nice bit of range. Here, because if we have the tinier body, everything is a little bit more compressed. So our arm can go all the way up. So it has a standard arm going up. It's going to stop here where the armor meets. That way it doesn't clash, right? We have our single joint, which rotates in an L shape, 90 degrees. We have our spinning gauntlets, and we have our hands which move and rotate just as well, like a Figma peg, right? Then we have our chest articulation, which is gonna go left, right, backwards, forwards, not a whole lot, but just enough. And then we have a little bit of swivel here at the bottom. Things like this are actually pretty nice, but on the smaller bodies, you would think like it's gonna get a little compressed, but it doesn't. We also have a removable front piece, which is protective. You can take that off and it still look fine on him but I kind of like the way it sits there, so I'm gonna leave it. Our leg articulation, we can go forward. As you can see here, it doesn't get in the way. We can go backwards, we can go outwards, which I did that <laughs> I did that earlier too, and I gotta stop doing that. I remember to heat it up, so let's slap that back on. You can go outward as well. Well, for some reason today, he's not going outward. I don't know why, <laughs> but let's try the other leg. There we go. I don't know why that one's not going outward. We have a thigh swivel. And we have a single joint, which rotates all the way in through the armor, as well as super generous ankle pivot. And as you can see here, it rotates through, much like a Marvel Legend, up and down, in and out, right? So Thistlehorn has the moves as well, much like any other Mythic Legion. All you have to do is pose him up the right way, and he'll look absolutely fantastic. I know a ton of people say that they, uh, they look kind of funny moving, but I like it. The more I play with these, the more I'm really enjoying. But then again, I'm also playing a lot of D&D, so that does not help my case, right? So voila, get them all posed up, looking real nice. And as you saw earlier, we have the pauldrons. Pauldrons could plug in here on the back, and they don't limit the arm too much. If anything, the arm will just pop out, kind of like a safety precaution to make sure it doesn't break. The pauldrons can move up and down. Then, actually, I'm going to leave just one pauldron on. I like this asymmetrical design here. I love customizing these things. Now, I'm gonna leave them like that because what I am gonna do is show you the weapons and accessories that he comes with. Thistlehorn comes with your standard Mythic Legion's adapters. See the 1.0 adapters? The 2.0s, these are if you wanna add wings and any other cool things like that. This one is for adding uh, certain types of shields and weapons, right? We see our other pauldron, very nice. Then you get your standard sword. This is a, ooh, this is a short silver sword that Thistlehorn can have. And just like I showed you before, you can use that as weapon storage in the back. Voila. Now he's storing sword. Cool. Good for him. <laughs> so let's move him back up. And I do want to talk about one of his weapons that he comes with. These are two hook blades. Now, the cool things about these, if you have any previous weapons, you know what you're getting into. These can actually combine. And I've done it the, the asymmetrical way, or you can twist them and then make it the symmetrical way and kind of have like 
a long scimitar, double edged scimitar, right? Now, for a guy that's small, you would think, like, how could he hold it? But he can. So I'm going to show you right now. Well, you can actually wait till the pictures, but I want to show you here, right? So, this is one of the cool things that I like because even for a small guy, it just shows just how cool, just even the thought put in for stuff like this. And it still holds up just fine. No weight distribution needed. Just kind of holds it up. Voila. And for those of you that are wondering, no, it is not touching the floor. He's on his own holding it up. Voila. Then he comes with a special blade called the Silver Court. This is a repaint of a few other blades, but it has new inscriptions from the Mytho stuff. It's a little bit different, and the color is blue. Now, this big baby uh, can fit in his hands just fine, <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. I really like this. Really like the fact that he was included with a special artifact. All in all, I'm really enjoying this guy. I, the more I play with these, the more I enjoy all of them. But I didn't think that I would enjoy these the way that I have been lately. So I just figured, why not show some love and spotlight on them? So real quick, what I am going to do, though, is I am going to square away his size comparison by sizing him up quickly with a bunch of other legions, as well as other different lines. And let's get his head as straight as possible. Move this stuff out of the way. So let's back them on up like a U-Haul truck a bit. And let's compare them to some other legions. First up, we're going to compare them to a uh, goblin. This is an armored goblin, which is... It's crazy because even though they're technically of the same, like, species, uh, he's a much bigger, armorized, different, as you can see here. It looks pretty cool, but I like the differences in the size. It really shows. Here he is with a steel knight. Voila. And as you can see, there are huge size, can, well, there's a big size differences between the three, and I really like that. Then, I'm going to move these guys out of the way. I'm going to show you Balam, which is on a knight's body, but has a tiger man's head, which is really cool. So, Balam and Thistlehorn, clearly not the same size, but you can clearly, like I said, see the difference. And it's really fun to see that kind of stuff. Here we are with a knight builder, as you can see here. Just like the Steel Knight, there are differences. Thistlehorn is a tiny guy, but he's cool as hell. Then we're going to compare it to uh, my Kid Bash Knight, which I call the Scavenger Knight, which I think I'll have him hang out with Thistlehorn. These guys seem like they'll actually be cool friends. As you can see, not much of a difference, because I used a mix of the Steel Knight body and the Goblin body, right? And then we have Vorgus, who, when sitting next to them, he looked like he towers over all of them. So if I, even if I raise it up just a little bit, voila, see a big difference there. Now we're going to compare it to some other stuff. We've got some other lines up in there, so let's do that real fast. Here we are with a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Here we are with an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. Who, as you can see, even next to Thistlehorn doesn't seem that big, but just bigger. Next up, we have an Articulated Icons Ninja. And we have a 1,000 toy synthetic human. Ooh, come on, buddy. There we go. We have a lightning collection Red Ranger. And then we have a Mezco Toys Me featured on a Gomez body. So voila. We've pretty much covered it all that I can think of right now. If I missed anything, Pretty sure someone will tell me. <laughs> but in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this for real. I really hope you enjoyed the pictures at the end. I uh, had a lot of fun doing them. Hope you have an informative and good day. <laughs> I kind of messed up there, but whatever. And as always, guys, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.